Coming up in this video. Oh, there's a lion oh chasing us. I see something. Have you ever come across a video that scared you so badly you needed to warn others not to make the same mistake? Well, what about 30 videos that fit that criteria? These are the 30 scary videos that should come with a warning. Number 30. Hallway Shadow Figure When your home is occupied by shadow figures, it's probably time to move out. Redditor Bianca5150 set up a security camera to try and catch which one of her dogs was doing damage in her home. She received a notification, alerting her to movement, and when she checked the footage, she found this. Did you see the shadow figure? Most in the comments think she should get out now, and I tend to agree. If we're to believe that no one was really home, this is one of the best pieces of shadow figure footage that I've ever seen. Number 29. Stalker at the Door This creepy encounter was posted to Reddit by Ghosty Phase. A ring doorbell camera captured a young woman's stalker. The woman says she was followed home from Walmart, and her stalker showed up on her doorstep. At first, the man appears to be looking for his own keys, but then he fails to find any and peers around the corner of the house. Many are wondering if the creep left something for his victim. Although we can agree that this is beyond creepy and edging into full-on horror, I do think this footage reminds us not to trust anyone. You never know when you could cross paths with someone like this. Number 28. Earring Pull YouTuber Donna Aries is haunted by a very active ghost. She captured this activity that's a little too close for comfort. Watch the hoop earring on the right. It's quite scary actually, because being alone. My partner didn't come down for his day to tomorrow, so I have to put it with all this going on, but um, I've managed to get quite a bit. Something is pulling on her earring. Donna doesn't notice until someone messages her. I'm lost in the fucking really, really hot. Oh, and I've got a real horrible breeze. It's hard in my... She then asks the spirits to leave her alone. Please, can you stop? In Jesus' name, please get off my earring. What the <laughs> Please stop. Touch what you want in my home, but don't touch me. At first, it seems like the spirit is listening as it slowly gives it a rest, but then... Is it normal for spirits to touch a human? I mean, this... This is so creepy to watch. I tend to agree that she's being taunted. I also don't think that fishing line is involved, as you would see Donna's earlobe move along with the earring, which you do not. I think it's more likely that this sneaky spirit is having a little too much fun. Number 27. Wild Lion While on safari in Africa, do your best not to become prey. YouTuber Josiah Martin shares this scary video, filmed in Zimbabwe, riding an open horse-drawn cart through the savanna. They see it before we do. Do. Oh, I see him. He's following us. The curiosity of the tourists quickly becomes real fear. <laughs> oh my god, she's a lion comes. chasing us! Oh, oh no! <laughs> The lion picks up its pace. Come on, it's coming. 
It's coming, come on. Speed up. Speed up. Quickly, go, go, go. And then they really do have something to fear. Okay, go. Yes, go, go, go. He's slowing down. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. He's taking a shortcut. Out of sight, out of mind? Not in this case. But don't worry. Despite the lion's shortcut, the cart loses him. Oh, yes. I'm a survivor. While the group seems giddy over this encounter, I think they're incredibly lucky. This close call could have had a very different ending. Number 26, in the tunnel, the haunted Silver Arrow train is still chugging along. YouTuber Adam Ghost Trapper Live captures this creepy video inside the haunted tunnel in Stockholm, home to a mysterious ghost train. What did he see? Hello? I see something. Did you see it too? The train lies at the end of the track, and there are figures on it. While it's impossible for me to tell what these figures are without further investigation, this video gives me the creeps, and I have no doubt that I don't want to step aboard that silver train. Number 25, Backwards Head. What would you do if you saw this happen before your very eyes? Shared to TikTok by Tigraz. This crazy video has me doing a double take. The footage shows a girl at a trampoline park jumping up and down like normal. At first, nothing's off, but then... After kneeling, she bends backwards, takes the opposite angles of each leg with her hands, and manages to fold herself around in such a bizarre way that you would think she's possessed. What is this madness? I think this girl is double jointed, also called hypermobile. This involves joints that can move beyond the typical range. About 20% of people are hypermobile, but many are not to this extent. At least there's no need for an exorcism. Number 24, Internet Cafe Haunting. Does this internet cafe have some unwanted customers? Redditor Juice173 thinks it does. He explains that he works in pest control, and this internet cafe was one of his clients. After seeing this footage, the owner insisted that he still has rats. Here is the surveillance video. Here's a clip from another angle. It's strange to me that something falls off of the shelf or is pushed right before the entire thing breaks. I would say it's just a matter of shoddy workmanship rather than something paranormal if it wasn't for that. But this makes me think that there's something more complex going on here, and I see no rats. Number 23, Marking the Tree. This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullion Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. Nakita niya yung ano, lalaki. Meron siya pinapahid sa puno. Tago lang tayo unti. Meron Doberman. Ano yung ginagawa niya sa puno? Loko to ha. The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. Hmm. 
Plano mo nung inaano mo diyan sa puno ka? After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So yan yun. Ano yung ginawa niya kanina rito? It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark, but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? Number 22. The scream. At first, Redditor Dawn Grager believes this sound was in her imagination, but then she recorded it. Listen closely. It sounds like a strangled scream. Some in the comments think it's just air escaping a container of some kind. Others think it's a trapped animal. I wouldn't rule out a portal to the fiery depths below, but those two theories also seem likely. This sound is for sure something you don't want to be imagining. Number 21, Scary House with Ghosts. Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts and he's in for a real boo. While searching what looks like a storage area of the home, he falls to the ground. <laughs> In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the grounds, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. But nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> One actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. Number 20, Doll Moves. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling. Captured by a guest staying in the doll room, the footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. It just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, 
we'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, that was. The doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. Number 19, the Italian house. This place, known as the Italian house, is in the middle of nowhere and is hard to access, maybe because the spirits don't want you there. YouTuber Chris L. Luna and her team are immediately disturbed by this place. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Es did you hear that scream? Next, they find what looks like dripping red liquid near a doorway. Ay, sí, aquí está. Ay, Dios mío. Y está además ahí esa puerta como tapando algo, no sé si moverla. Is it really what we all think it is? What is it there for? My guess would be a dark magic ritual. As they continue to explore the home, they realize they're not alone. <gasps> 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 That last one caused them to flee the scene, which I think is a long time coming. I would have left after seeing that ritual site. I think Christelle is right in that the residents never left this place. Number 18, 1901 Basement. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Buddy and Rascal, this two-part submission starts with a photo. The Redditor wrote, Caught this face while me and my mom were putting the boards on our basement windows. Our house was built in 1901. This image got a ton of upvotes with commenters praising its realness and asking for more evidence. The Redditor then posted a video writing, Here is a video of our basement. I personally don't see anything, but if you guys do, please let me know. In the comments, WranglerGreedy2976 thought they saw movement in the crawl space at the 16 second mark. Um, so you walk down here and the first thing you're greeted by is our uh, crawl space. I don't know what light to turn on so you can see it better. But that's our crawl space and then um, this is the window that the face was in. I don't like this window, but uh, <laughs> the crawl space isn't much better. There isn't, oh, I did not, there isn't very good vibes back here. Do you see what this commenter is talking about? Nevertheless, let's hope Buddy and Rascal are able to capture more paranormal evidence in this home. Number 17, Ball Lightning. Is this a ghost sighting or ball lightning? YouTuber Louisiana Cajun Recipes believes he's captured a ghost in his house, but some believe otherwise. Look at the still frames of what he's captured. Cuts out the sound when I slow it down this much. And it actually, when I was doing it, it blew scream on me. Did you see the small blue glow? My new one's got a gyro in it. You see it hit that camera like that? Watch it again how it hits that, that gyro. What was that? Some suggest that the stills are ball lightning. But the YouTuber insists it's paranormal. I'm leaning towards ball lightning on this one. But what do you think it is? Number 16, Crybaby Bridge. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarji claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the Crybaby Bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Yeah, that's 
That's the same truck. He's getting oh, stop. He just stopped. Oh, he's come back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Whoa. Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is gonna grab my neck. <coughs> grab your neck? <laughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. Number 15, shadow person on TV. Do shadow people have reflections? This video suggests that they do. Watch the reflection on the TV. Did you see it? A shadow appears to move across the screen in the light from the window. The uploader says they tried to recreate this by walking outside the window but could not. The shadow disappears into nothing. What do you think is going on here? I can't tell if the shadow is moving outside or inside. Either way, it doesn't appear to have any defining features. It looks only like a shadow, not like the reflection of a human figure. I'm not 100% sure what this could be. Any ideas? Number 14, Watergate. While in search of the ghost of the headless man, YouTube team KBC Casadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. Number 13, Napoleon's Abandoned Mansion. None other than Napoleon Bonaparte once lived in this mysterious abandoned mansion. Let's take a look at what he left behind. YouTuber Exploring with Josh leads the way through this dilapidated chateau. You know, normally maybe because I'm in France, I wouldn't want to come to this place because it's decayed. It might not be that good compared to everything else that's here. But man, Napoleon stayed here. That's all that matters. That's that's why. I mean, that's this is... I wonder if the little corporal slept in that bed. Josh also comes across this mysterious photograph. Look at this kid right here. Knickknacks. I think there was, uh, maybe at one point, could have been a flower right there, but don't know. The history of this place is multi-layered. I mean, this place has been inherited like multiple times through different owners and generations that who knows who was the last owner to actually stay here. But assuming by looking at the beds, they had children. <laughs> Multiple. In this room, the ceiling collapsed, making things a whole lot messier. Jeez. I have pictures of what this was without this collapse, and we're going to slip them in here throughout this video so I can show you what it was even four years ago to from now. As one of Josh's friends tries to get some deeper footage, an unwelcome creature makes an appearance. You're like Pooh Bear who's stuck in the tree for honey. 
Oh, the there was a bat that just touched your butt, bro. They then managed to open the door to the safe. What is that? Did they open up the door? Yo! Yo! Dude, yes! Okay, we're not stuck in this safe. Guys, we did not destruct any property in the making. Although they didn't find anything valuable inside, I think that perhaps there were valuables in here at one point, but they were taken. I bet you they did that to see if there's like hidden treasure that was behind it. So they did that just in case. Most likely that's what it was. Well, there's old paintings there, so these probably were, uh, were oh, really rare. This could have been Da Vinci's yeah. paintings, dude, for all you know. Seriously. Are you getting Napoleon vibes from this place? I sure am. And his energy doesn't seem so small. Number 12, Haunted Farm. YouTube team The Ghost Raiders investigate this abandoned farm that's said to be haunted. The team notes that there's no electricity in this place, and yet their K2 is triggered. Give us another, or even answer questions for us. Actually, better yet. I'm taking that as a strong yes. Um, where is, tell you what, while, while this is going mental, let's just jump right into communication here. And next a whisper is heard. I just felt like something just whispered in my ear. Did you get any indication as to what the whisper was? No, Did it, it say anything? It was just a... The spirits indicate that they're still there. You're still here with us? Yeah. One flicker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. three. Let's, let's uh, jump back into this communication. Tell you what, I'll put the ovulus on. Yeah, definitely. The K2 keeps going off as though the spirits are eager to communicate. Okay, that's my initials. Yeah. Story. It might tell me something. Oh, that's what the ticking noise is. The K2 going off. Oh, it's the. It's going mental. The K2, that K2 was the um, little inbuilt speaker. Then both devices are triggered at once. So they're yeah, both going it's, off it's, now. They're identical. They are identical. Solo. Maybe that wants one of us to stay here and one of us to leave. They again go off in unison. They think they're speaking to a ghost named Paul. Oh, that's super strong. All right, you guys, I want you to fully like comprehend what's going on here. We're having intelligent communication with what we believe to be a spirit perhaps named Paul here in this farmhouse. One of the meters is triggered again, and it sits inside this old school recording device. Oh, there it goes. Did you follow us from next door? Yeah? What is Paul trying to tell them? I think perhaps nothing at all, except that he's there. Number 11, Cursed Restaurant. According to YouTuber Extinct File, the locals in this community say that macabre events happen inside this cursed restaurant, and when the Extinct File team visited, they weren't disappointed. As they search the place a moan is heard, then they happen upon this strange message. Ven esto familia, no mames güey. CJNG. I'm not sure what that could mean. As the team descends the stairs, something nearby breaks. ¿Qué pedo? A la madre, güey. ¿Qué pedo? Then they come across a mysterious object in a bucket. I really want to know what's so disturbing in that bucket that it must be censored. And as they're looking at it, they hear more noise. There's algo raro ahí, güey. Eh? No, no mames. No mames. Velo tú mismo, güey. And yet another room banging is heard. La madre, güey. Algo nos aventaron, eh? And again. Buenas noches. La madre, güey. No mames. Va a ser alguien, güey. Está fuera, eh? Is something after them? La madre, güey. La madre. No, 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 no. 
Están por todos lados, güey. No nos quieren aquí, eh. I think it's pretty clear that ghost hunters aren't welcome here. This is the curses territory. And if you know anything about curses, you know not to mess with them. Number 10, house with a demon. YouTuber Tim Morozov is again sharing a roof with a demon during this nightmare overnighter. As one of the devices Tim set up goes haywire, a chair starts to move around the room. Tim tries to decipher the signs, and as he's doing so, this happens. Watch the doll to his left. <laughs> the doll's head slowly moved to the right. What is it looking at? This doll is supposed to react if a spirit is near. I believe one is. And it's now possessed that baby doll. Number 9. Haunted Hamilton Jail YouTuber Chelsea Luna explores America's so-called most haunted jail, the Haunted Hamilton Jail. Things get spooky right off the bat. What was that? In the women's section of the jail, the paranormal devices go wild. Check it out. That's what I was telling you about. Oh, it is going crazy. As soon as I turn it on, Chelsea, oh. this is this is the way it's been in this women's area of the jail, uh, more so than any other area in this entire jail. The spirits even seem to be responding to the team. Can you light it all the way up for the girls so they can see how how strong your spirit is? I think you're having fun with it now, aren't you? The device then emits an incessant high-pitched noise. Listen to it. Why is it doing that? Kind of sounds like, you know that sound you hear when somebody dies? Amongst the beeping, they hear something outside of the cell. As Chelsea is talking, the heavy cell door moves on its own. And all of a sudden, it just dies when everything was happening. Chelsea, and <gasps> look at the door. Whoa. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your, what you were talking about, but I just happened to look over and see the door moving. They then get a strong whiff of something. It smells like vinegar. That came up on oh, the EVP, does. vinegar. What? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yes, on your Oculus today, remember? It said mm -hmm. vinegar. And I smacked That's it. Weird. That, I it have it on my camera, like it said vinegar. It smells like vinegar. What would vinegar be used for in here? As they're all discussing this place, they hear a pounding sound. It did. It did. I heard something out there. I just heard something out there. I'm, I'm serious. Like somebody yeah. was moving around, like a real person. I heard. I, I thought I. Whoa! Heard it. Oh! What? 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 You didn't hear that? It sounded like a like, like pounding, almost like somebody like came in here or something. After hearing a noise, Chelsea feels like someone is standing behind her. Maybe we should call them and tell them we can't. <laughs> what? What the. F I just yeah. felt it. I felt like someone was behind me. What the f I literally Life felt a full is, person yeah. right there. And it sounded like it, right? Yeah. They then hear more pounding, which they believe is coming from upstairs. Since we know that that's... Holy f um, we just want to protect us at different RSOs right now. Lou and uh, James... It sounds like something's feeding so something up there. Yeah. The cemetery and then to the abandoned place across the street. In my opinion, something is in here with them. From the devices being triggered to the movement to the sounds, this abandoned jailhouse is occupied. Number 8. Haunted UK House This creepy abandoned house is one of the most haunted places in the UK, and you're about to find out why. YouTube team The Ouija Brothers investigate. As they approach the home, they think someone is there. I thought I was seeing something up in the top window then. You might have. Oh god. Because the door's locked. I honestly thought I seen something up in the window. They continue inside and Carl thinks he sees something. 
Run. Just says run on mine. That message is chilling in another hallway. They hear two distinct taps. Cough. They hear another unexplained noise next. You hear that? I didn't. It's okay. In your room. Just in front of me. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't make a noise. I'll check back on that. And another. What was that? Is that you? You weren't me. Sounded like something coming from a cupboard. It was like a. Uh, what? I'm not sure if any of this was actual proof that the place is haunted, but I do think these mysterious sounds, coupled with what the guys saw here, may warrant further investigation. Number 7. Coco Chanel's Abandoned Mansion Located in the Scottish Highlands, Exploring with Fighters explores famous fashionista Coco Chanel's Abandoned Mansion. While in one hallway, their device starts going off. Okay, let's let's ask ask some questions like this. Right, the cat ball's still going off. Dan is trying to communicate with the spirits when one of them appears on camera. If you want me to leave, and you don't like me being here, set one of the devices off. Did you see that? What is glowing in the darkness? Here it is again from another angle. Peter, if you want me to leave and you don't like me being here, set one of the devices off. I have no idea what this could be. Maybe a source of lights appearing from a window in an adjacent room? Something shiny like a spider web catching the light for a moment? It could be anything. What do you think it is? Number 6. Child's Voice YouTube team Kaza Sobernatural is paralyzed with fear after their experience in this abandoned home. The infamous home was once a site where rituals were performed. After exploring the house, they come to this room. Se alguém estivesse andando aqui, cara. Listen closely here. Oh, meu Deus do céu. Vocês escutaram que tinha alguma coisa andando aqui, uns passinhos, mano? Sim. That sounds like footsteps, and then a moment later, this happens. I think that was a child's voice. <laughs> Just the look of this place makes me feel very uneasy. After hearing that voice, I feel that whatever the rituals drew in has yet to leave. Number 5. Man in the Woods The YouTube team Greg and Heather's exploration know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. What the heck? What was that noise? <gasps> She goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her.
Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. Number 4. Confronted by a Demon YouTuber exploring with Danny is frightened in this creepy video. As he hears voices speaking in Latin, he grows petrified. And then this happens. Danny was just confronted by a demon. That siren you hear in the background is a panic alarm, and it seems the demon isn't done with him. Danny appears to have scratch marks on his stomach after this event. Will the demon leave Danny alone after this, or is it just getting started? I think this video is legit scary. To me, Danny looks in incredible danger, and it would be best if he leaves this haunted place ASAP. Number 3. Frozen in Time YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. A little spiraling stack. Case you can see the decay on the walls, all the paint peel, carpets quite trodden in, bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls, which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read, but everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. Alright, so we're getting little bits. There we go, there we go. Something down here. Look at this. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirit. Are you the spirit that passed away here? Listen to that, exactly where I thought it would go, by the guitar. And then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall? Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen it. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Hey, we saw. <sighs> Considering this along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. Number 2. Skinwalker Encounter YouTuber Franco TV was exploring this haunted cemetery when he heard a possible skinwalker. The cemetery itself is strange. It's designed with cryptic phrases and markings. What? Night Pythias. I've never seen that before. As he continues to examine the gravestones, he hears a mysterious noise. Dead. Dead. What the is that? That came from up there. He finds broken glass lying across another grave site, and then he hears it again. There's a whole bunch of shattered glass. All over here. What the f is that? It terrifies Franco and he doesn't know what to do. This is a good time to stop and reflect on your life. What the f 
suicide sound. As he walks towards it, he sees something that sends him flying. I'm not sure what he saw or what disturbed his vehicle, but something is out there, and that roar doesn't sound animal, but it doesn't sound human either. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds, because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Out. Number 1. Taunting the Animals Redditor XBadXWolfX's mother has been experiencing weird things in her house. Her pets are behaving strangely and odd things routinely occur, including doors opening and a doorknob rolling down the hallway. So the Redditor set up security cameras to capture any suspicious activity. Here's the first capture. <laughs> Note that the dog that is pressed against the door does not have its paws on the knob when the door suddenly pops open from the outside. Additionally, since their door opens inwards, it had to open with such force that it pushed the dog back. A second video heightens the mystery. <laughs> The Redditor says that there is nothing this cat could have jumped from at this angle. Rather, it looks like it was thrown or kicked into the kitchen. To me, it seems like the cat's reacting to something heavy dropping onto the floor. What do you think? I think this video, like all the rest, should come with a warning. There's no happily ever afters to be found on this list because these 30 scary videos have horrifying results. Can you help solve them?